Hello Field Insight peeps. This was a blog topic I had in mind and I think this is a perfect opportunity to shoot it. Because here I am, lying on my ass, having just fallen off my bike. Ouch. And things don't always go as planned, particularly in the marketing space. Or the SEO space. So what I wanted to say was, we, we did some really good SEO work and we were flying along and we were high up in Google for you know, field service management software and you know, things were looking all wonderful. And then one day, Google just slammed us. They just went and said, nah, you're off the top 100 results. Um, you've been cheating, you're busted. Turns out, inadvertently, we had been cheating. We didn't know we were cheating. We, um, we had hired a company overseas to do our marketing and SEO. And we had explicitly said, don't do anything dodgy. We just want white hat, straightforward SEO work. And they go, yeah, yeah, sure, no worries. And then they signed us up for these link farms and this really dodgy stuff. Um, and when we found out what they'd done, we tried to reverse what they'd done and we didn't even have access to the stuff they'd put in. It was these horrible big link farms. We just, we couldn't get out of it. And I made a big strategic mistake at this point in time. I said, oh bugger it, let's just focus on something else because this is too painful. And it took us probably five years because we didn't focus on that problem. And I talked to a guy, Lars Lofgren, who was the marketing manager, a marketing person inside Kissmetrics, a very big, successful analytics company. And he said, in businesses he's worked out, this wasn't at Kissmetrics, but they've had the same problem where things have gone pear-shaped well and Google's changed an algorithm and their traffic's just disappeared. And he said, you just have to double down. When things go wrong, is actually the time to put more energy in, not less. And you just work until you solve that problem. There is no, there is no quit or give up or attack just because it gets hard or seems ridiculous. It's actually the lesson I learned is when things like that go pear-shaped, seem unfair, unreasonable, whatever, that's the time you work harder to build, build back beyond where you were before. And you just don't, don't quit. Um, if you can't see a path, just keep going. My son, who's dyslexic, who's so smart and so intelligent gets gets defeated but when we're reading and when we're learning and when he is most frustrated and you know chuck and wobblies that's when he's actually learning the most not the wobbly chucking but those, those frustration moments as he's working through a problem so same with business you just have to keep going work through the problems there's a great technique called the five whys look it up Basically, you just keep asking why is something wrong. You get an answer. That answer won't be the answer. You ask why to that answer. That won't be the answer. You ask why to that answer. It sort of starts with blaming someone at so-and-so's fault and then say, well, why did they do it? Oh, well, because you know they thought this was a solution, so why did they think that's still a solution? Well, that's what we've done in the past. Well, why was that what we did in the past? Well, that's the way it's always been done. But what's the problem you're trying to solve? Why? You just drill down into the why. And because something's been done in the past, there's a very good chance that it's not the best solution. So do your five whys or more. Drill down to the root cause, your root cause analysis. Something Elon Musk talks about. Root cause analysis, find out the core of the problem and then fix that. And that may take a stack load of time and energy. But if this is a core part of your business and it's gotten pear-shaped, double down and fix it. Anyway, have a great week guys and girls and uh, I'll talk to you all later.